Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a Mosin Nagant uh, barrel band retaining spring. I was really expecting to find a flat spring, like a little V spring, but this spring has a pin that goes down through here. What I've already done is I've cut off the rest of the broken off pin, ground it off, and I drilled a 3 16th hole. Now I got a 3 16 roll pin I'm going to stick in here. So that alone is probably good enough to uh, get things started, but I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to put a spot of weld on there, then I'll grind and do whatever I've got to do to make this look like it was never repaired. And if I fail, well, well, it was broken when I started, so I'll get the welder set up and I'll get back to you. Alright, so the welder set up. Like I say, I don't know how well this is going to go. But we're going to find out right here. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to try and put a spot weld on the inside. And one of the things I'm doing, by clamping this in the vise nice and tight, the vise will suck some of the heat out. We don't want to get this too hot because we don't want to lose all of the spring tension. That was a colossal fucking fail. Ah. Alright, so that didn't work out for me very well. I burned it off when I tried to put weld on the back side, so I'm not going to do that again. I got the same pin. It was plenty long to start with, so I only lost about an eighth of an inch. So I knocked it, ground the welds off, knocked the old piece out. I got to put it back in there. Again, I'm going to clamp it in the vise so the vise sucks up some of the heat. I get a good spot of weld on there and we'll go from there. Put my gloves on here. <clears throat> Round two. That should do it nicely. I'll just uh, give that a buff and then I will grind it off. And It may not look exactly perfect, but it will, uh, I'm sure it will do the job. Reposition the camera.
it's half decent. Um, I'm going to give that a little better sanding and then I'll uh, glue it and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so there it is after, I know it's hard to pick up, um, after some sanding. Now, I didn't go to a really high luster on that because this is a Mosin and if you get it looking too good, it'll stay, actually stand out. So I'm going to stick some blue in on that and see how we make out. Okay, so i got a number of products here I'm going to try out. <clears throat> now I'm trying to replicate the Russian finish. I don't want to, I want it to blend in. So i got a couple unorthodox methods here we're going to try. So first, acetone to degrease this little baby. I'm just going to hit it with dry cotton ball. That'll be good for degreasing. Some odor gun blue. Now, I don't particularly like this odor stuff. I find it doesn't do a very good job, but... It's fine for small parts. I would never try and do a whole gun with it again. I just wouldn't. Possible to get it even. And so now we have a doll black. Hit it with some rim oil, away from my gloves. Just soak it right down. And rub that on there. <clears throat> and just had to change some batteries in my battery hog here. Now, to give it this kind of cosmoline -y, grimy look, I take some 45-45-10 lube, and rub it on my fingers. Cotton ball, do the whole part. There, that's it. One repaired spring. And I can see the marks, but I can see them because I put them there. I know they're there. If I seen this on a shelf, I would just assume it's typical Russian shitty workmanship. Um, I'll probably do a little clip or a picture or something to show you this installed and working, and that'll be the conclusion. Thanks for watching. Alright, so there's the finished product. You can see it works. Sticks out there, pops back up. Camera's not showing up very well. You can see where I uh, filed it. It didn't turn out quite as nice as the other ones, but all it had to do is spend a little more time buffing it. But it's a Mosin. It's, uh, it's rough at the best of times. So. That video helps someone. It's a pretty quick and easy project. Just weld the one side, not both sides like I did, for obvious reasons, if you've watched the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.